Welcome to Talking Trash. And today we're at the Becker County Material Recovery Facility, or the MRF as we like to call it. Guess what this is? This is actually not garbage. This is recycling. This is from our uh, blue cart, the curbside carts, the single stream recycling. So now when you look at this, it kind of does look like garbage, but to the trained eye, our, our folks that work here, this is recycling, and this actually, this pile doesn't look too bad. Um, you can see there's cardboard, there's paper, uh, plastic, some metal, but, and it's kind of like, I always like to play like a Where's Waldo in here because there are things that do not belong in here. So for example, I see a Minnie Mouse, it looks like a, a kid's toy, a Minnie Mouse, it's got a bow on top with dots on it, that does not belong in there. It is plastic, however, it is not recyclable. It, the things that are recyclable are food type containers, one through seven. So for example, this particular thing is not recyclable. It's plastic for sure, but it's not recyclable. I don't see any numbers on it, but even, oh, there is a number, there's a number five, but because this is not a food type container, it doesn't belong in here, it's garbage. And the other question that we get, and I gotta make sure so I don't slip. This, this is probably the number one question we get. Do you recycle this? Now looking at this, it is a number six, but styrofoam plastic in Becker County is not recyclable. So any kind of styrofoam that you get um, or packing type media like this um, goes in the trash. And so this is probably the number one question. This goes in the trash and this would go in the trash. Some of the most common things that we get, these are the, the two most common questions that we get, the styrofoam and kind of mongrel plastic. The other questions that I get a lot are salt bags, dog food bags, thing like, things like that. That is also not recyclable at this time. Not saying it won't in years to come, but it is not right now. So that actually goes into the garbage also. As much as I hate to say it, it's not recyclable here in Becker County. Um, I see some, I don't see a lot, but to behind me on my right side on your left, there's plastic bags. This load is actually not too bad. Um, everything is loose. That's the way we like it in our recycling bins is loose. So when you, uh, when you put it in your cart curbside, just dump it in loose and make sure that the lid is tight so if on a windy day it doesn't tip over and, and blow over and you're pay, playing 500 pickup. But bags, at some point here at our material recovery facility, they have to be torn open and dumped out for us to go through it and recycle it. And so uh, that's why loose works better at our end. So if you can do that and uh, dump them out in your bin, even in the big blue bins in the recycling sites, dump those out and then there are cans out at most sites that you can put your plastic bags in. It's really important to get that stuff loose in our bin. This is actually a really good job. People did a great job of dumping their recyclables out. Um, so, and also the one thing that I don't see a lot of and that's awesome, you guys are doing a great job of recycling is glass. We don't allow glass in our single stream either. We don't, we don't want it in here, it, it ends up being a contaminant after you put it in your bin, if you do and hopefully you don't, it goes into the truck, gets broken, it hits our tipping floor here, gets broken, and then it goes up our line to get recycled and it breaks some more. And then we get shards of glass in our paper and that's a contaminant. So we still accept glass, but at our public sites, in the big blue bins, we like the glass there. Then we, it's called source separated and there we can deal with it because all we're dealing with is that one product in that one bin. So glass does not go in the single stream in the blue carts curbside, but it does go in the public sites. And if you have any questions, you're wondering if, if it's recyclable, recyclable, please give us a call. We'd love to help you out and figure out where to put it or if we can take it. And our number is 218-846-7310, Becker County Environmental Services. Have a great day.